Today with Shafachi Delicious Diet, we are going to make an amazing seafood rice with coconut milk and aromatics. It's going to be delicious. Check it out! Shrimp and octopus seafood rice with coconut milk. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Shrimp and octopus seafood rice with coconut milk. Something delicious for a big family outdoors in a paella pan and it's beautiful. First thing we're going to do is we're going to season our shrimp and our chicken. Everything I season the same way. Some scallions, some parsley, a little bit of cilantro, and some garlic. This is it. Add a little bit of each to each of the meats that you're gonna add. We're gonna add chicken, we're gonna add prawns, we're gonna add shrimp, and we're gonna add octopus. The octopus has all of the spices that the rice is gonna have. You see, we put everything with the same seasoning. There is an amazing advantage to this. You do this ahead of time and refrigerate it. And your fridge will never smell like seafood. It'll have a beautiful aromatic flavor. Let's now start with the preparation of our vegetables. Now for our vegetables, I have yellow bell peppers, parsley, cilantro, scallions, and onions. So we're placing our bell peppers with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil onto our paella dish. We're cooking it over medium heat. We're going to put our peppers right here and our spice mix that I have, we're adding it right on top. This spice mix has turmeric, pepper, ginger, and it is delicious. You'll have the spice mix at the end. We add the onions and mix a little bit. Now we separate the center to add our chicken. Why? Because we want our chicken to brown lightly on the pan. And then we add all of the other herbs and seasonings that we just cut up. Check that out. So once 10 minutes have gone by, we have our chicken that's half cooked and we have our vegetables that are half cooked. All of them with all of those herbs and onions and spices are beginning to create an amazing flavor. So we start adding our rice cup by cup so that we can mix it with all the flavors. You see how it starts looking yellow from the turmeric and the spices? It is amazing. Little by little, we add all of our rice. This we do at the same, this we do slowly so that the rice kind of fries up a little bit at the same time that it absorbs a lot of the flavor and the seasonings. We want everything, since it's such a big pan, to be well mixed prior to cooking so that it all has the same amazing flavor. We season several times. We season the onions and bell peppers, then we season our vegetables, and now we're gonna season our rice. And last but not least, we're gonna season the stocks because both stocks have no salt on them. I am pushing the rice toward the parts that are lightly browned. So that delicious browning that creates an amazing taste when it's brown, not black, it's all gonna be absorbed to the rest of the rice. See how easy it comes out? It's amazing, the moisture and the oil pick it up from the pan and all those drippings give it a delicious flavor. So we mix and mix until we have all of our rice there. Now we're going to add a can of coconut milk. If you make your coconut milk at home, you can use three cups of coconut milk instead of one and a half of the canned coconut milk. 
then the rest is going to be the liquid from the octopus and the liquid from the shrimp shells. It's already looking beautiful. And there's a link in the bottom of how to cook the octopus in an Instapot. It's amazing. It has a lot of these spices and flavors and you can eat it on its own. You can make a lot of dishes with that octopus. Season the liquid, the rice and everything with salt and pepper. And we are ready to cover our rice now for the first cooking times. And this is gonna cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Since I'm outdoors and there's a wind, it takes a little bit longer. Once that rice has absorbed most of the liquid, I'm gonna add the shrimp and then I'm gonna add some more stock. I want the pan to begin to let out some steam, check out how it does it, so that the shrimp cook steamed and absorb all those delicious aromas. Check it out. It's beautiful. Here goes the last of the stock and we cover again for 10 minutes. After it's covered, we're going to keep it there for 10 minutes. If you have a place that does not have a wind, it might be just about five to eight minutes. Uncover and add your prawns. We add them one by one. And then we're gonna add a little bit of salt so they're well seasoned. Remember, they were seasoned without salt. I season everything without salt. That way I can add as much or as little as I want at the cooking time. Here we go, look at it, beautiful. This is a meal for about 12 to, even to 16 people, but it's 12 people that eat a lot. Now we have some white wine that drizzles all over and brings together our beautiful coconut milk, shrimp, and octopus rice. This is a meal that you serve with a salad and everyone is gonna have the best time in their life. It could be a meal for a special occasion. It can be a meal even during winter if you do it indoors. And you can do it in a smaller pan. This is a huge pan because this is outdoor. Now we're adding the cooked octopus that I cooked in the Instapot and that is amazing. It kind of falls apart, it's so tender. And we add it at the end because if you add it at the beginning, it, it's gonna harden actually. Now we cover this for five minutes while we serve the table and get everyone ready to eat. Check it out, beautiful, amazing meal for a party, for a get together and for your family too. Chef Pachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy, Chef Pachi.